I love video games. Video games are an art form, much like how movies are. Uh, it heavily relies on the audio and visual medium. In this case, um, many games have amazing soundtracks, be it original or adapted soundtracks. When I say adapted, I mean music which is taken from other sources but incorporated into the video game itself. Now that is very common in video games these days. Music has more often than not defined how the games are in one way or another. Ever since its incorporation in 1997, the soundtrack of the GTA games have been nothing short of spectacular, featuring uh, original music as well as tons, I mean countless licensed music from all the way back from the 50s up to modern music of today. The music has more often than not defined how the games are, in one way or another. What's even better is that we are given the opportunity to add our own songs into the GTA games, therefore creating our own soundtrack and expanding on the already amazing soundtrack of the games. Today, we will look at the evolution of user music in GTA. Let's take a look back at the first ever Grand Theft Auto game, released back in 1997. This game does not have any option to add our own music. The soundtrack of this game consists mostly of songs which were made specifically for the game itself. The same can be said for the expansion packs London 1969 and London 1961 as well as Grand Theft Auto 2. Now, all the early GTA games, they have amazing in-house and some licensed soundtracks as well. Most of them are very good, in my opinion at least. What do you guys think? Tell me what you think in the comment section below. Let's move on to the year 2001. Rockstar released the sequel to GTA 2, which is Grand Theft Auto 3. Now this is a groundbreaking game in itself, the first ever 3D GTA game. It is also the first GTA game to incorporate the MP3 player. In the PC version, if you open the game's folder, you will notice a folder named MP3, all in small letters. Now this is a simple MP3 folder where we can copy and paste our favorite songs or shortcuts of the song into this folder and then when you start the game, when you scroll through the radio stations in the game, there's plenty of them, uh, you will find mp3 player and this mp3 player plays your very own music in the game, just like a radio station in the game. So technically it's like you created your own radio station to be played in the game. And all we do is just copy and paste some audio files into the folder. Very simple. The same feature is implemented also in Grand Theft Auto Vice City, a game that has already has an amazing soundtrack of its own. But if you are interested, you can also add your own selection of music just like you do in GTA 3. Same way, just copy it into the mp3 folder and you're done. Things are pretty much the same but a little bit different in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, another game with an already amazing soundtrack but if you are interested, you can also add the uh, mp3 uh, songs that you want into the user tracks folder. The user tracks folder is located in the my documents folder in Windows. It's a little bit different in terms of location but the process is pretty much the same as you did in GTA 3 and Vice City. So just copy them audio files and you're all set. In GTA 4, user tracks become user music. So the name has changed, although the process is pretty much the same. The folder is in a My Documents, Rockstar Games, GTA 4, and you will see the user music folder inside that folder. The process of adding your own music in GTA 5 is pretty much the same as in GTA 4. Now let's look at the remastered versions of the GTA games. 
in the mobile version of GTA 3, unfortunately there is no option to add our own custom music. However, in Vice City Mobile released back in 2012, you can add your custom music into the game. So that is a, some good news and you can do the same in San Andreas Mobile too. After adding your songs and then turning on Vice City Mobile, you scroll until you see Tip Deck. That is where your music will be played. Unfortunately, the ability to add our custom music is not available in the GTA Trilogy Definitive Edition released in late 2021. This is a far cry to the ability to add the music in the original versions of the games. Personally, I find it to be one of the most disappointing things in the trilogy, among many other things. GTA 6 will be released very near into the future, but will this game have the user music feature? Only time will tell. Well, there you have it, the evolution of user music in the GTA games. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you like it, please leave a like and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. This is Nessie signing off, ta-ta!